Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to do a fondue. A fondue is a French term that means to melt in English. A fondue is usually a very slow movement done at the bar, but it is often translated into movement in the center. For example, some jumps have fondues in it, some turns have fondues in it, Italian fuentes, for example, have fondue in it. Understanding the technique behind a fondue is super important for your ballet technique. Fondues are kind of difficult steps, but with a little practice, they get easier and easier and soon become second nature. So let's get started. To begin a fondue, because fondue means to melt, we're gonna start in a plie. So not only do we plie, bend our standing leg, but we're also going to bend our working leg at the same time. So as your standing leg bends, you're going to bring your working leg into a nice coupe position onto your ankle bone at the exact same time. While doing this, you want to think of both legs bending at the exact same time. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna keep my hand on my hip because we're just learning the legs for now. And we're gonna bend our standing leg and bring our foot to coupe. There's this big chunky bone on your ankle and that's where our coupe usually is. It's neither below it or above it, but usually right on that bone on our foot. So not only are we bending both legs at the same time, but it's important to talk about how that working leg comes off the floor. We want to peel it off the floor toes coming last and pointing your toes at the very end and then attaching to your ankle bone. So let's put it all together. We're going to bend both legs while peeling that foot off the ground. And you're going to get into the deepest plie you can muster up without peeling that heel off the floor. Now that is an actual fondue, just bending the both legs together. But at the bar, it's very typical to fondue and then extend your leg to the front, to the side, or to the back. Usually when we extend our leg, it's above the floor at about 45 degrees, but can also be translated to 90, degree, 90 degrees or higher. So we're going to peel our foot off the floor while also bending both legs, keeping that standing heel on the floor. And now, not only do we bend both legs together, but after we do that, we want to straighten both legs at the same time. So we're going to bring that foot off the floor, oh, sorry, bring that foot off our ankle bone, extend it out a little bit. And once it's at that same level of bent as the standing leg, the working leg, you're gonna straighten both legs together. It's super common in fondue for people to straighten them both at the same rate, but actually it doesn't work like that. Because this leg, where the working leg, is bent a little bit more than the standing leg, we actually wanna straighten it at a faster rate than our standing leg. Like so. So we're gonna bend both legs and then you're gonna peel off the ground, off your foot, like I said before, and then straighten both together. And now to come in from a fondue, you do the same thing in reverse. You bring your leg in straight a little, and then you bend both legs at the same time. And now this can be translated into front, side, or back. So we can do the same thing to the side, and we can do the same thing fondue to the back, keeping our foot right in front of our nose, right behind our head, and right to the side of us. The last thing I want to note about a fondue is that when your leg is extended, whether it be front, side, or back, we want to feel our turn out. So our knee is always facing side and our foot is always pointed to its fullest. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you found it helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to comment it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time.